Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Moin. He's not here. Hello, Demon's Hub, James Orinoco. Well, this has been quite a kerfuffle. Jerry wanted to be here today, but then there was the planned game live stream they would want to do on OTT that has been postponed because today there would be an internet upgrade of sorts and now things happened at the studio and yeah, apologies, Jerry can't make it tonight. Shit happens. But uh, I've decided since uh, we have missed last week for reasons, we are going to look at some projects from people today, even though Jerry is not here. It might take us a little longer because I need to read up on the text that's uh, describing the project because I don't have time to read all the projects all the time. Yeah, that could be a valid reason, testing out how fast the new internet connection actually is. Yeah, Demon, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we'll muddle. So you're painting Tiny Fighting Infinity Man. Uh, as I understand it, Infinity isn't that tiny, is it? So, uh, no more mid-size. <laughs> So bear with me if I do a lot of reading tonight. So let's see. Uh, also, I need to have my papers in place. So how do we filter the project system by Saka? Eh, uh, we don't. Why would I do Saga for anything? Uh, hello, Mr. Dutch. Uh, so I need to... Put this to one side. So, first project of the day will be this here. And that's by our own Mr. John. John is doing Puppet War. What is his write up shtick? I take my old. Tor Gaming Relics, Britannia Force, add the new TT Combat Resin and create the ultimate Stitch Punk Force. Now this has been going on for almost three months now. At the beginning there was only metal. Tasty, lovely metal. Mm -hmm. Oh, it seems like the uh, interwebs for the project system <laughs> is... Yeah. We had a good run the last two weeks. Project system actually worked relatively flawlessly. But uh, seems like something is eating up bandwidth again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I should just sample his, uh, his football shenanigans and have it randomly play during stream. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of plugin to make that happen. Hello, Denley. Welcome, and Mr. Ewok Kebab. Yeah, this is actually taking for ages. Why? So, from metal and resin to grey. Let's see if these little pictures at least load a little faster. No, they don't. I... Well, so we have to uh, actually go with the little pictures on screen. Why? <laughs> yeah, Metal can 
though if if you got proper primer that will eat into the metal and hence it won't chip because that's uh, usually the the reason for using primer on metals but the usual model build primer I'm pretty sure won't be etching itself into the metal I'd like to go a little more in depth with the color pictures, but since uh, image loading seems to take forever and a day, uh, we have to just go by what we're seeing now. Yeah, step by step tutorials are always a great thing if you actually have a very distinct uh, look you're going for and people want to. Recreate that. Yeah, the final result is neat. Uh, James, I'd say first and foremost, the project system needs a back end that's stable and delivers in a timely fashion. That's a very uh, reasonable amount of paints he's used for painting his miniatures, though I'm pretty sure people could go with less. Ah, uh, the secret secret project. Yes, James, one day you'll need to show the secret secret project. Uh, John hasn't done much on this project for some time now. I do hope he actually finish this for Spring Clean Challenge. Uh, last entry is from April 3rd, which isn't... Uh... Yeah, there are some time differences. Let's see if I can make this happen. Or if the project system now is completely going down the hill. Hello, Dave. Uh, where's my text file? Uh, oh, no. The red court. Yeah, while the project system is working in the back end, We'll be jumping into the next uh, project. So, Demon's Hub is doing Veldgeist? What the fuck is Veldgeist? Is that actually called that way Weltgeist John has no excuse he's working a, 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 as a painter for a painting channel so he needs to pick up the pace and I'm pretty sure he, in the last three months he has done something he just needs to take pictures coming back to Weltgeist what the fuck world ghost or Waldgeist, no E in there. Fucking hell. But that's a lot of metal. <laughs> is it just on my end again that pictures are loading that horribly slow? I would like to go in depth on details on these miniatures because they do look remarkably weird death wizards oh, is that the new game from uh, snarling badgers Dave I can't remember I, I seem to 
recall the name, Death Wizards. Can't put my finger on. I just look at all those shrooms. So, so this should be a warren magnet, this project. So many shrooms on bases. Tiny, tiny sprites. A wood nymph and a green man, which is obviously silvery. silvery. Uh, I don't think you went too much. <laughs> I mean, just just look at the, the size of the, the small bases. So I, I'm pretty sure it's it'll be fine. This one dude here reminds me a lot of a Balrog. Not much room left. No, there isn't. The puns write themselves. Oh, look. A quality German product. Krautkaffee Scenics. Oh, you, and, and you're using uh, Halford's Primer. For, uh, a few weeks ago, um, I've seen the video by Midwinter Minis, again, with the clickbaity title, Things Need to End or something, where he t talked about that Halford's Primer is now way too expensive to use and that he's going with a different brand. And coincidentally, that had his own Midwinter Mini base coating spray hmm did have a bit of a taste <sighs> yeah I think this this could be going for a golden button or since this is a project from the spring clean challenge I could actually win something along those lines Blending the blend. Well, if it works. Uh, you work. It, it wouldn't be the first project to have multiple buttons or awards or something. So many different colors. See, people, you don't need to fixate yourself on one brand of of colors. Oh, and speaking of colors, I need to make a little uh, video because, uh, as you some of you might remember, uh, the my original Goblin Green is starting to run out. So I got myself, uh, let's see if I can show you. I got myself three of these uh, war paint fanatic paints. Leafy green, rainforest and wild green. And uh, I'm going to make a little video and compare them to uh, proper goblin green. Just by the first look, I'm guessing the leafy green will be the most fitting but that will have to wait until i have the opportunity to prime some bases to have a proper uh what you call it uh canvas to show them on back to mr dimitel Yeah, this. Let's try. We can actually add a picture now. Oh, now it's working a bit better. Leather brown, one of my favorite browns from Game Color. Yeah, I'm. I'm rarely buying new paints, but since Goblin Green is now really on its last legs, I needed something new.
lovely Lloyd shots. Uh, and again, image is not loading. Flocking out. Yeah, that, that that back leaves actually look twice, and the body really looks like uh, a birch or something. So you're going to use these for five leagues from the Borderlands as part of the ice here caught enemies. I like armies that you can use on multiple games. <laughs> Sexiest tree I've ever painted. I think you could only chop that with the tree from the last unicorn that get you know where he gets tied to the tree and then the tree starts to live and uh, wants to never let him go. The undying love of a tree. Elves made of wood. Elvis Woodley. Well, that, that's a nice, nice little set of miniatures. Yeah, I really do like these. And then there are tiny, tiny fighting women. green color is a bit odd but then again uh, I'm not thinking of dryads I'm thinking of ordinary humans <laughs> and sprites are things coming from a computer not something living running around trying to stab people up Slingshot sprites. <laughs> and there's the green man. Now he's green and not uh, metal anymore. It's a lot of leaf work. You you really have cut your work out with doing all the different shades of greens and yellows and browns for those leaves. Nice work. And there's the goldy button. Yeah, ni nicely done. Nice one. All the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. You're happy, Dave. Happy now. <laughs> Next up. Uh, where's the link? There's the link. Smith School, Resurrecting the Dead, a game that he loved. The Star Wars miniature game. Um, that must have been something outside, at least from Germany, because I can't remember any of those miniatures. Has anybody seen these miniatures within the EU? I don't think that that was a game here. So, Smithsko is uh, trying to bring it back to life. 
but he's using horrible ones and zeros. Even worse than uh, the, uh, what you call it, 3D printing stuff. And talking about bendy lightsabers, oh my god, are those bendy lightsabers. And now he wants to bring it back. Uh, so, so this is... Uh, I've, I've skimmed over this uh, just re five minutes before the show, so I haven't ingested all the information. But he actually did a fuck ton of work thinking about the project. And then he used chat, GPT, OpenAI, thingamajig to... Uh, yeah, have himself baked up stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure how my uh, th thoughts are on this. This seems odd. I don't know why. It's something... Not sure I, I would use AI for this for multiple reasons, but then again, if it's just to make himself get some ideas, why not? Let's see, can I leave a comment? Potentially. Uh, there it is. And that, that's a lot of interesting and weirdly painted, pre-painted miniatures. Let's see how this turns out later. Another entry for Spring Clean Challenge. That's uh, one of our uh, young blood entries. Hello, Mr. Zork. We are currently watching uh, this here project. <laughs> yeah, it lo looked a bit like uh, Lloyd's Army Man project, though. Um, I think that's more on a budget than the Star Wars one. Rebel Pathfinder's unit expansion. I'm not sure if those were already on a sprue, so when she's using plastic glue, I think that's not going to hold on very well for very long. Yeah, the the part where uh, on the XLVS where. Ben almost died uh, from laughter because of the uh, super prolapse buckhole extermination <laughs> 3000. I'm not sure that, that she lost the needle on that demon sub. I'm, I'm pretty sure that needle has been uh, taken off on purpose because the needle tends to clog up very easily and uh, you could still use the nozzle at the end box measures kapow yeah an adult could use a lighter to unclog it I wouldn't use it in the vicinity of a child. Painting in the local model shop. I wish we had a local model shop where we could go paint. Yeah, sometimes they gotta learn, but... Uh... There's there's a time for everything. Oh, 
Oh, look here. There's, there's a piece of newspaper just for, for Jerry. Clop. Do we hear do we hear him scream? No, not yet. Weapons and shoes and even more miniature skin. Oh, dreaded project system. <laughs> Jerry is off rigging ships. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Crispin. Yet yeah, time is a very strict thing. It works in uh, mysterious ways. It just happens to happen. <sighs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, Dave, on what actual players? There would be, I guess, no orc players. Oh, I'm I'm guessing somebody actually did it at at some point. I'm uh. But I wouldn't bet on a uh, commercially available option. Yeah, Little Miss here has done much more painting for Spring Clean Challenge than I've done so far. So good on her. And I'm not sure, I think she's currently the only uh, young blood entry, but that might be. A misjudgment on my part. Ah uh, no, I, I I'll never try to impersonate Jerry. This that that will go horribly wrong. Uh, let's go to next project. Buy our dear beloved uh, Manda's Lego. So uh, uh, let me give you the link. This is a link. So, she, since she's uh, having a hard time painting, uh, she went out, found a tabletop game called Brick Wars that works with Lego. And now she's going full on Lego. Which basically means she probably has even less money now than before. Or uh, then shelling out money for for uh, Warhammer products. Well, I'm guessing if she's if it's called Brick Wars, she isn't uh, restricted to using only Lego, but could also use Mega Blocks and all the off-brand name ones. She's going to focus on the Ninjago range. Oh, well, good luck with that. <laughs> oh, look, and she even got her old Lego back. This is nice. I've got my old Lego in, uh, in some bags as well. And basically, Lego is just pre-painted miniatures and modular terrain okay the the modules are very small but well <laughs> something's always has a catch oh yeah that that tool is a godsend but they have iterated on that tool and it now looks uh where is my camera hold on it now looks like this not as fun looking 
but you have a little peg to uh, use to get your wheels up somewhere. But I like the, the brick monster she made from it. It's a cute little brick monster. Oh no. Starting to put stuff into sorting trays. Twenty years without Lego, that's... Is that life even possible? At least once a year I'm getting a small bag of Legos for... Uh, New Year's Eve to build. Just to have some... Something to do. Washed Legos. Yeah, I did know that people uh, could wash the, the Legos when it, they put it into a, a bag and then put it in the washing machine. I always envision that to be a very noisy act. <laughs> Someone at work once bought a thousand pound Legos as part of their training budget. Training for what? I mean, if, if it was uh, Lego Mindstorms and you're in robotics, I can see the reason. But, uh, yeah. Lego is, is an extra drug. Especially if you're staying on the uh, original and IP protected stuff. Not necessarily Sonic the Hedgehog, but like Lego Harry Potter, Lego Star Wars, they just are unbelievably expensive. Banana Man! Oh, how have I missed thee? Hello, Banana Man. How are you? Welcome back to the stream. You're looking grand. Even more storage characters. No, that's not Eric, that's Banana Man. Okay, so this is not just her finding ways to uh, get creative, but also doing... Uh, what you call it? Game development. Which is a thing that I don't think I would try my hand in. I only have creative little sp sp uh, sparks at times, but uh, nothing with longevity. So much Lego. Even more Sonic Lego. I didn't know Sonic Lego was such a little broad, broad range, to be honest. So many pieces. And even more Lego. We're not getting older, we are just getting uh, more hairy. <laughs> The best thing about Lego is it keeps its value, it's always sellable, and it's pretty much indestructible. Unless you have one of those very tiny parts that do snap. Haughty, you young... You will, young whippersnapper, 40. <laughs> yeah, hair is a weird thing when, when growing old. You start losing it on the top, but it's 
starts growing on all other spaces in your ear, in your nose, on your ears, and literally everywhere else. Uh, let's see, where is the, yes, the project link? Give it a cool minute. And while that is hopefully saving, we're going to the next project by Warmer Grimace. So what is he up to? Uh, several projects that part finish and close completion, so for Spring Clean Challenge I plan to complete as many as possible. Well, good luck with that, Skipper. Flames of War is his first try. And modern military and civilians. And some terrain from way back when. So starting with Flames of War tanks. Which should be an easy enough uh, feat to get completed, as Jerry and John have shown uh, with the preparation for the live stream. Also nicely done. Get a terrain from the magic terrain box. Speaking of magic terrain, I since, since I've painted the miniatures from the barroom brawl, I uh, I'm still undecided if I really should go through the ha hassle of painting the terrain that comes with the advent calendar game. One things aren't really straight; they are a little bit wonky. And I probably never use them for every, anything else. Hmm. <laughs> Eat your greens. Yeah, that that's my approach in this case as well. Demon sub, I'm really not feeling like I want to paint them, especially since most of it are tables, chairs, and uh, furniture cast in brown plastic that are made out of wood. Maybe if I feel like it uh, at some time or when and if I at some point in time going to repaint the stuff from the Kiro Quest box, maybe then I'll check them in because it's a similar type of terrain. Who knows? Modern infantry. Well, yeah, I was actually tempted to uh, do a live Let's Play With You lot today. But then Jerry said he would be here, so I skipped that idea of the preparation for all, everything. And then he said he can't be here, so... Yeah. I, I, I'll have a read-through to... I, I'm going to have a read through to the very complex and exhausting four page rules. And then I'm going to have a li little play with it. Yes, it isn't it funny? No better report because of Jerry in, in a way. I'm pretty sure that that'll annoy him <laughs> if if he ever finds out. Hello, Nick. Have you got yourself a concrut? Well, that that's the plus side of not going to conventions. You can't catch concrut. Hope you're getting better soon. Oh, look at these little buggers. 
if uh, the internet connection would actually be working. Mm. Little wild bear rider, the horse rider, and one on a donkey. Oh no, it's it's not a donkey. It's something else. Fifty mil fantasy army. Let's see how much more he can actually make on his uh, projects. Nah, I don't think it was an ass. It had too too big of a, a pair of antlers. So the next project for tonight uh, where is it there it is whoop there it is whoop there it is my tupa infected dreams so some geezer is uh doing uh, turn up 28 A horny ass. Yes, we're talking about Crispin. Multibase? I don't think they look like ass. I think they look decent. Spooky grimy. I do like the weird combination of firearms and knightly armor. It it somehow fits and at the same time it's just wrong. <laughs> and you can just go wild on your imagination on games like like Turb 28 or even Frostgrave or any other gravy bit oh look he's got himself a carrier A big purity seal made for a themed birthday cake. <laughs> hmm. We need a section for cakes in the project system. That's something we really need. Sharing recipes on how to get ourselves completely wasted on cakes. And I like his his tutorial approach on uh, how he did things here. And those really do look nice. I wish I could gather myself more for, for painting stuff. The cake is a lie. So says GLaDOS. But does she always tell the truth? I don't think so. Cakes and biscuits and uh, scones and cookies. And anything other sweet and savory. <sighs> now I'm getting hungry again. That's bad. Me getting hungry is always a bad thing that takes me in the mood. Speaking of mood, let's mood on. I think there has been a uh, clarification on Jaffa Cake being a cake and not a biscuit. I can't remember how it went. I've seen it on QI way back again. 
I think it's a, actually a cake because it's getting harder when drying and a biscuit is getting softer while sucking up uh, moisture from the surrounding air something along those lines rethinking mega city one spring clean challenge by jefferson powers <laughs> cake for tax evasion purposes <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, what what creative ways people think of just to well not pay taxes literally. <laughs> so Mega City One could really use a fresh cut of paint uh, and some uh, Sarissa Precision Judged Red Buildings and the promise of battle reports. Now this is something we need to follow on. I think I still have my block woman is somewhere floating around. Oh, a proper review in his blog. Why are you hiding your blog? Oh, there's a blog. Hmm. Hold on a second. Uh, I need to go here and then I need to go here and go back why can't i hmm, hmm doesn't work anymore for some reason odd I was wanting to put this on my two uh, to read on later list, but uh, for some reason my block spot account doesn't seem to work properly. Hmm. Well, then I need to go back to this at a later stage. The retail unit he's doing first. Oh, well, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> the trouble with, with uh, MDF, I find, is if you paint it before assembly, some kids have so small tolerances that getting them stick together actually is going to go sideways. Let me cake. Oh, sorry. Oh. See, Danley, that's what I said. Dries at the ages. I do like these. Max Mac repairs. But also no progress for some time now. And that just I mean how many more days do we have? I think nine. Nine days left on Spring Clean Challenge as of today. Oh, James has good news. Fallout Wasteland Warfare or Fallout the game, uh, what you call it, uh, Nuka World. Nuka World would actually have me interested, but it's relatively expensive and I haven't even started playing the first one so 
Nine days until summer. Let's hope the weather catches up. Hell. Hmm. MDF potentially can warp Zork. I personally haven't had that problem so far, but then again, I used actual car primer as a first coat on MDF, which seals everything dead shut. <laughs> I like my MDF. But then again, I also like the smell of slightly burned wood. Though I would never buy myself a... Uh, what you call it? Laser cutter that's highly flammable. Oh god, what is happening? I think the coffee is broken. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like bacon. Personal eye surgery machine. Pete is doing Clash of Catan's test of honor uh, or just doing sheds. <laughs> Free laser surgery. <laughs> yeah. Has somebody mentioned that Pete is a horribly talented person and shouldn't be allowed to post any kind of pictures? Uh, a guide to painting aged wood. I hate it when people are so talented and have actually so much time and, and uh, energy to do these things properly. Yeah, his, his, he, he's so productive. At times, I think... Uh, he, he's still employed, is he? I mean, you, you can't shell out... Things like these on a conveyor belt and still have a paying day job. Mm. I mean, just... Look at these things. You bastard. Stop being so good at painting stuff. Oh, deadly. If I were to drink a can of uh, energy drink, it would wouldn't make a dent in my sleeping cycle. <laughs> Maybe he paints like meet in meetings like warmer grimace does. But to be fair, if you're working from home and uh, your only obligation is to sit and listen, well, uh, uh, why not paint stuff? I, uh, a friend of mine uh, is working uh, as a private security thingamajig. It's not really guard duty as such, but he, he's working at a at a gate, and every time it's not his turn, he's sitting in the back and painting flames of war minis. Uh, new thatching, old thatch. Th this is a guide to uh, how to build your own Asian themed backyard. Though I did sort these by Spring Clean Challenge, so why are these in Spring Clean Challenge? I wonder. He buys models using training budget. Thatching <laughs> <sighs> and wood. Yeah. Unbelievably nicely done.
Just look at that. So many little tiny buildings. It's actually so big, he, his backdrop is starting to get it small. Yeah, he's uh, a talented bastard. Where is he? Bastard. Let's see if we can give him a nudge. Oh no, the project system is crapping the bed again. And speaking of crapping the bed, since I'm yawning like, uh, like nobody's business, we have one more to go. Slaying Dusty Boxes by Guru335. Um, yeah, he has a pile of opportunity or potential. And he pre-ordered Slain Kiss My Axe. And obviously it's still uh, sitting around. <laughs> now he's trying to do stuff with it. And would you just look at the way he's making the roofing on this little round hut. <laughs> it's the most effective and lazy way imaginable. Just get a pad and cut to size. Green kitchen scrub pads from the Dollar Tree. Everything is sold for one twenty-five. <laughs> it, it's a grand idea. I mean, it saves a lot of work. Trees look nice too. Even with the special, if you haven't noticed, motion blur, though I would wonder if trees have motion blur, technically that makes them ants. Is this organized or just hidden chaos? Um, I'm going to say yes. It could have could just be windy, Denley. You're totally correct. Camp canal studs. <laughs> Miniatures painted via the medium of contrasty paints. I'm really excited for when the next big thing comes around contrasty and speed painty things oil washes and oil paints slappy choppy what will be the next big thing can i say, just say i i love this little druid guy with no face whatsoever and just beard all over. Tartan paints, I think, would be the pinnacle of uh, paint invention. Nah, cousin, it doesn't have any arms, so it can't be. He's a lookalike, but it's not him. Double entry. Slap in the base colors. Slap. 
Uh, come on, load faster, you piece of junk. Uh, could be. I uh, highly doubt that. I think Cousin Ed never had any arms. When progress pictures actually show progress. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the points that can be the most uh, mood-dampening things of all times. Just if you ha don't have the... Uh, if you don't feel like you're getting anywhere. You're just adding paint on paint and nothing happens. And then, all of a sudden, things start looking good. But there's always a uh, a hump to get over. Oh, look, Billy the Idol. Skulls, Dwarves, and Rock that Roll. Really looking forward on to when the project system is working like intended and I can actually watch miniatures. Lovely Deutsch shot. Lovely bearded weirdo. He he really does like someone just from an eighties metal music video. <laughs> Have minis will travel. <laughs> Cat weasel. Oh yeah. Oh look, he made a little carrying case from the actual box, which is always a nice thing to have. Protect Jiminy's. Well, demon, so I don't think. Uh, Kisma X was uh, meant to be a great game, if I remember correctly. There was something about having license and doing stuff. And the Finnish roundhouses. Yeah, I do like how those roundhouses ended up looking. Nice work. Looking good. Let's see if we can leave a comment. And speaking of Warlord, I think it was Warlord that, uh, is it Warlord? Yes, I think. Um, my Life Miniatures was the name of the books, I guess. I can't remember. Ah, my brain. Hold on a second, please. Uh, let me put you there. Uh, how do we get here? Talking miniatures, that's the one I'm, yes, talking miniatures. So uh, in the last um, newsletter from Warlord, there was actually a 42 page long PDF excerpt from talking miniatures to read and have a fun at look -see. And uh, yeah, it really makes me want to buy these books even more. <laughs> Which is a horrible thing to say just after vowing to myself not to buy anything more gaming related for the rest of the year for reasons. 
<laughs> yeah, they're expensive, and especially since they can only be uh, be acquired at World Games directly. 65 euros plus shipping, but we've been over that topic multiple times. Maybe that's actually something to put on my wish list for my birthday or something. It does look like they are going to be um, sold out quickly. Uh, James, the, the, the thing is, this is a kind of book I feel, from my very far away standpoint, that uh, having people talking to each other, you will not see again anytime soon, especially since some of them already have kicked the bucket. And I, for my part, maybe this is because we here didn't get the full story on Games Workshop's early days, uh, as some of you all a lot have in the UK, so maybe that's the appeal. <sighs> yeah, looking at the website right now. <laughs> I should be looking at websites that have a buy now button or an add to cart button. Uh, for some odd reason, my mind just now is jumping to uh, Lloyd. He, he hasn't talked about his shed in an awfully long time. Hmm. I wonder if uh, Jerry is still getting in there at night spraying fresh PVC. The PVA, PVA, sorry, PVA. Stop using those horrible words, Mr. James Cuts. Yeah, so I, that's that's my thinking. Potentially, there's uh, too much moisture. I'm not, unsure how the weather is at his place currently, but here it's raining like <laughs> it's nobody's business. Uh, I'm just waiting for another quote-unquote flood. <laughs> He's into the denial phase, hasn't accepted that he got done, no. <laughs> well, to be fair, when, when he's talking about what they told him that he needs to do and what he then does or, or has done, sounded to me a bit like, um, yeah, he, he, he was asking for troubles. <laughs> I mean, if it's too wet, he just could line the inside with plastic and make it a, a indoor swimming pool or a sauna. Though, uh, Lloyd in the sauna is not nothing I want to see. <laughs> so, has there any terrible thing I've missed on the gaming side? this week? I don't think so. I, I was away a bit uh, from all things. <laughs> Not a light shot. No, please, please. If if anything, a Jerry with a Jerry shot with very high speed motion blurs. I've seen the announcement for the Mantec and Army Peter meetup. Uh, I think they went live with a video today. I need to, to uh, catch up on that. Um, I, I love how Army Painter is actually pushing for community and uh, is, is trying to be more than just a manufacturer and producer of goods. At least that's how it, what it feels like. See what will uh, come of it. They had beers. <laughs> oh god. If if Ronnie had oh this 
Has, has has it been has Ronnie got his car back? <laughs> or was that just a running joke and he, his car actually didn't get stolen, he just forgot where he parked it. Yeah, demons so that's that's my thinking. They they do look like a company that actually cares for the hobby itself. I mean, if you look back at the beginning of uh, the event Remain Indoors, um, Army Painter actually used their production facilities to uh, bottle up disinfectants to distribute in the local areas, which I feel is great. <laughs> James was going to ask Ronnie if he remembers when he parked the plane for the trip back. <laughs> we don't need a plane. <laughs> so how has your painting gone? The ones of you who did, did painting, or are you still painting, or have I bored you to hell and back? Has dry paint dried on your brushes, or have you achieved some kind of progress? Excuse me. Still painting, keep talking. <laughs> ah. Don't you just love it when people say th things like that? Green highlights. Green highlights are nice. Ah, let's see. Is there any news coming up here? Oh, um, speaking of, have you, um, have any of you watched the Let's Play of Ben and, and, and Shay with Boros and Badgers? I feel that's a very, very rigged game. <laughs> All the dice rolls by Ben in the first half I've, I've watched so far are <laughs> it's just, just, I think at some point Shay just wants to kill Ben and not only in a figure of speech way <laughs> uh, Ben's dice rollings very lucky is a very generous way of saying yeah he's always throwing the highest number possible <laughs> Statistically, it's impossible what he's done, but then again, it doesn't seem to have worked so far. <laughs> yeah, let, let's see if they have been died, uh, baked. Yeah, that's that's quite correct, Orinoco. It's the opposite of Jerry's rolling. And I think that's what uh, drives Shay so mad, that he's actually having to act on stuff and not just count on somebody losing dice rolls. Uh, as I said, I've only uh, watched the first half. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure if they're recovering the dice from the OTT toilets, James. Uh, potentially. Uh, uh, may maybe there was loop involved and... Uh... Who knows? The multi-award winning Moonstone Demon Sub. Yeah, the, the, the map does look nice. And uh, though I have to say they might have gone for a little bit more focus on the gaming table. A little more zoomed in. And at times it was very hard to make out what minis stood where. When, uh, yeah, it was just a big pile of, of stuff. I know you're going to hate me for this, but I'm feeling quite tired. I'm going to call this a day. Doing all this work by myself is hard. I need more practice. <laughs> Let's see how this is going to, uh, to end up in the upcoming episodes. Uh, 
hopefully Jerry will be able to, to uh, join us again. Uh, maybe we will pester him tomorrow when they do the live stream for the Bokash. <laughs> oh, thanks, James. You son of a gun. Um, listen, I appreciate you lot, uh, lad. I appreciate you lot big time. And I wish you the best. And stay safe. Stay sane. And uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And not telling you what I wouldn't do. And uh, somewhere there's a button to end the stream. And good night. <laughs>